it is, in my opinion, unreasonable that in Australia at the moment you can have a situation where people in the wealthy suburbs of Sydney can get a cataract operation, which is an incredible procedure that can change lives. And we can get it within three or four weeks, but if you live in far western New South Wales, you might wait two to three years for that. And that is, uh, in my opinion, an unacceptable situation uh, in a country like Australia. Yeah, that's, um, you know, that's easy to know that. There's a lot of other things involved. Yeah. Most people that lob here, which are Aboriginal patients, they don't lob here, as I said, with credit cards. They lob here lost. They lob here isolated. And they can look left and right. They still don't know where they're, where they're going. So I think, you know, by us, you know, bring, being attentive to those kinds of needs and changing the way we look at people, changing the way that we understand or take a bit of time to understand people is very significant. It does make a change. Brett's a young man that um, uh, had an eye injury through um, just trying to work in his shirt and it was a piece of metal that had actually came up and, and pierced his left eye. So that had caused uh, this young man a lot of concern and at the time he had to travel from, from further than Maitland, from Maitland to John Hunter, from John Hunter to here. The Sydney Eye Hospital and the Prince of Wales um, eye unit are the two biggest units in, uh, in New South Wales and in Australia actually and together we're hoping that we're able to actually provide a comprehensive service not just sending ophthalmologists out or you know, helping with accommodation but moving on from that and actually having an indigenous eye clinic that can address serious eye problems that can't be addressed peripherally and also establish a telemedicine uh, program so that people don't have to come all the way to the Sydney Eye Hospital to get a review. Um, his uh, expression of, I don't know what I would have done, Linda, if I hadn't came here. I don't, I had no hope in the world until, until I lobbed here thinking that this was the last stop of his journey. In this case, you will be putting money directly into sight-saving technology and sight-saving surgery and sight-saving care. It'll be direct funds into that project which will have an immediate effect. We have to make that changes. We have to put it up there with the rest of it. If we're going to close the gap on Aboriginal health, we need to put our hands up. And I need people to walk with me and to be able to support me, otherwise it won't happen.